I would trust him to shop for me. I don't know that my wife Cassie would totally trust him. Yeah, 100% she would. 100%. Not a, no. not a chance, not in a million years. I'm Cam. And I'm Jamie. And we're childhood best friends. I first met Jamie when... It would have been, at this point, like 20 years ago. They moved into the house that was right next door to mine. Like, knees on the chair, looking out the window, mm -hmm. like, oh my goodness, there's another kid. And I was like, oh man, I need to do something to introduce myself. So I grabbed like a little RC car. I went out front and drove it right off the deck so that I had an excuse to run around. Like, hey, oh hey, oh whoops. That was like... We know what you were doing, like it wasn't an accident. The equivalent of sliding into DMs as a child. <laughs> I play a lot of board games, but Jamie loathes them. Currently, his game room setup, he doesn't really have one. So that is what I would be trying to design for him. Got to have storage, got to have a place to play the games, and you got to have a place to sit at while you're playing the game. So those are the three main components. I'm gonna be st shopping for like a studio slash living room for him. I'm a house music DJ. My ideal studio setup would be you know, multiple monitors and stuff where he can actually be mixing the music. If he's creating with somebody, they can have a space to just be comfortable together and hang out. It's called collabing. Whatever. Cam style is very classic, muted, but warm tones. Jamie's style is dark with a pop of color. Just kind of like his personality. He's got a dark sense of humor with a pop of color. <laughs> Definitely know him well enough to shop for him. I don't know if I know him well enough to shop in a way that he would be happy with. <laughs> And Jamie's a pretty big guy, so he needs like a comfortable chair. And I see this ergonomic chair. Yep, I like that ergonomic chair. I'm all about my ergonomics. I, mean, I feel like I don't even have to look at that many other chairs. I, I like this one. I think I'll add that one. No, that's a good decision. I like that chair too. Final record, stackable cube. It's like a little like cube that looks like it's perfect for albums, like vinyls. Oh, that's so cool though, the stackable staircase one. Yeah, that's so cool. I like this stair stepping pattern that they have in the example. We'll do that, we'll add those. That's gonna look really good together. They've got these, these wall speaker mounts. It looks like they're like adjustable and stuff, so you can get it pointed however you want. Let's do four of those. I do like that. Oh, nice, okay. So they definitely have what I was looking for, adjustable standing desk. DJs a lot of times are standing up, so this is perfect. Very minimalistic for sure. We're just gonna go ahead and add that to the cart. Sit stand desk, they're the way of the future. Okay, I like this for holding his instruments. It can hold up to nine. I don't know how many guitars he has, but I know it's less than nine. It matches the aesthetic of the room. It's very traditional, minimalistic. I can see him just grabbing one real quick and playing a little ditty. So I think I'll add this. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, it's a good look. Good job, Cam. I think I did pretty good. Do I think he's gonna do better than me? Probably not. You know, that's just that's just how it is. I would give him an eight. 0.4 out of 10, and I would have probably gone with maybe some more art on the walls. Other than that, he did a very good job. So the first thing that we're gonna go for is the centerpiece of the room. Gotta build the entire room around the table. <laughs> yeah, you're right. So we want something that's going to be big enough for multiple people to play around. And I'm liking the Adley extendable dining table here. Yeah. Okay. That's dope. I like that. We are going to add that to the cart. We're going to want some chairs. Ooh. Oh yeah, this, this is the one right here. That one looks cool. Go with that one. I like the orange. I was hoping a brown, but I guess he's going with the orange. Because it's kind of got that, it's like a Southwestern, kind of like a, a very neutral orange. Not too bright, not too crazy. I mean, that's that's kind of a cool looking orange though. I mean, it's got wood on it, so do it. So we're gonna go right into an incredible looking chandelier here. This is probably not something that he would have in the rest of his house, but 
Since it's the game room, I want something with a little bit of that fantastical element to it. Here's good, because it's like right over the table, lighting the actual game, which is what you want. We definitely want to find a spot for Cam to store all of his games. Yeah, this credenza, I don't know what it is. I guess the kind of traditional craftsmanship I actually really like a lot. But also, it does have some storage at the bottom that leaves it open, so he can still display it and let people see what he has. I like it, but I think he is underestimating the amount of games that I have, that credenza wouldn't stand a chance. This piece of art right here is kind of perfect for the crazy worlds that you experience playing games like that. I think this would be perfect on the wall in there. It's got a walnut frame. Come on, that's awesome. Yeah, it's cool looking. I think I did really good. I think that he's really gonna like the kind of the fantasy aspect of some of the things that I chose. I, I think it all kind of will work together to make something that he's gonna really like. Overall, he did, he did well. I think I did good. I think I, I think I picked out a really good room for him. I think he did okay. Just okay, okay. But I think I'll cut Jamie some slack because he doesn't play a lot of board games. He doesn't know like how much space one actually needs. But overall, I think he did a good job. If today was a competition, who won? For sure, me. Me, but it was me. 100% I did. Well, yeah. it wasn't, but. It was me, so. You, you won at losing, you won at coming in second, but. Which is why it would have been nice to have a couch because then the loser, you, could have sat on the couch and like thought about having lost.